you're not broken. You were just left to be strong for too long. Hello, folks. How you are doing? It's your girl, Inyolu Alawoye. And today's episode is episode three of this new series, Simply Escaping Narcissistic Abuse. And today's episode is going to be so good. And it's going to build on it in the future episodes so that you don't miss it. Make sure you are one, subscribe, two, click on that bell, okay? Once you subscribe, you do need to click that bell. That way you are the first to know when I post a new video. All right, today's video there is no scripting. Now, I scripted episode one and episode two because I really wanted to get to the nitty gritty of the academia part of it and just have a great foundational knowledge for those who have no idea about narcissism or what narcissistic abuse looks like. But today, we're gonna start empowering. Start empowering, okay? So, let's get to this video. Let's do it. All right, folks, like I said in my last video, there is a right and there's a wrong way to respond to a narcissistic abuse. And I tried both ways. That's why I know there's a right way and there's a wrong way, okay? Before I even learned about it, before I even started my trauma coaching, before I even started my PTSD therapy, I tried the wrong way of doing it. So I'm going to talk about that first. Let's talk about the wrong way of responding to a narc. Number one, confronting the narc. Don't do it. Don't ever, ever do it. It will always bring out of them something that is every time a knock gets confronted, every single knock responds with rage. And it is not pretty. It is not pretty at all. Whoo! Remember when I said I saved my life? Well, I also almost lost it, okay? <laughs> it's funny now because, you know, it's my one-year free anniversary. But that time, a year ago... It won't pretty okay so one never confront a knock with evidence that you know they're a knock with the word narcissism or narcissistic or narcissistic abuse or don't do it it will always reach rage and unfortunately like i said in one of my videos some people never make it out okay because rage can turn to violence and violence if nobody's there if you don't have access to a phone right away um if you're not aware of what a rage from a knock looks like you might end up losing your life i do not want that for anybody so number one do not confront a knock with the word narcissism or evidence of the narcissistic abuse because they will 100 percent deny it or even better they not better but they might say you're crazy that's a typical knock thing you're crazy you need mental help it's you that's the narc and number four i know i'm a bad person and i know and then they'll just start crying start different things different strategies so never confront that's number one Number two, once you know that you're in the middle of a narcissistic abuse, you need to do two things. That's all I'm going to focus on this video, okay? What you need to do, right? So I have that what you don't do, which can lead to the wrong way, but not about the right way. Two things you got to do. Number one, you have to start tracking everything. And here's why. Nobody loves a knock more than the abused. That's just the truth. Nobody loves a knock more than the abused. Okay? And the reason why the abused love the knock so much is because without realizing it, the abuse is wearing rose-colored glasses. The abuse is not seeing clearly what the knock is doing. So the best way is to start tracking everything. Okay? So I have a journal coming out soon. It's a 60-day journal. It's called healing me from the inside and this journal will help you track everything for 60 days 
The journal will be coming out in 2025. It's not ready right now, but guess what? You can start tracking even today. Here's how you track. When an abusive episode happens, first you need to write down the facts. What actually happened? What did you say? What did Nark say? What did you do? What did Nark do? How did you respond? How did Nark respond? Track facts first. Secondly, track feelings. How did you feel in the moment? Now, this is really, really hard because narcissistic abusive episodes are very, very jarring. It's, it's very, very hard on your mental health, right? If you look into the effect of narcissistic abuse on the brain, experts will tell you that people who go through and survive narcissistic abuse are like soldiers who went to war. And when they come back, what they experience, what the thought process is, everything they go through, very similar. I'm not saying this. The experts are saying this, and they are right. So it's very, very hard to track in the moment. And it's very draining. I get it. But here's the thing. The more you track what happened as soon as it happened, either in writing or you can grab your phone and send yourself a voice message or like i did make private videos and upload on your own youtube channel something you might not know most people don't know this every gmail account has a youtube account every gmail account has a youtube account okay so if you if you have a gmail account go into your gmail right the little the the nine dots click on it go to youtube create your video upload it Put it in private okay put it in private track it that way every time this happened that happened literal actual moment how i felt what i saw if you told them how you felt how they actually respond not how it made you feel when they respond but their actual words what happens is when you're in a knock abuse just like the video from last week remember so they said something to you in private then they did something to you in public and it's very confusing but when you track things with time those rose color glasses will become to clear out okay so that's number one track everything and then number two and this is so important and it's not it might not feel right to you but trust me it works number two you need to accept that you're not is a knock okay if you accept that this is what they are there is no change coming from their end i accept them then your healing can begin okay and i know it's hard i get it and sometimes like i said the abuse loves knock more than anybody else can but if your goal is to heal if your goal is to safely escape if your goal is to stop being abused, it starts there. Okay? Do not confront them. Track everything. Accept them. This is just the beginning. This is just episode three. There are many more episodes coming. And I'll give you more very actionable things that you can do until one day, just like me, you can safely escape your narcissistic abuse. I love you Bye. Hey, I don't know what this is for, but you're not broken. You were just left to be strong for too long. You're not too much or too needy. You were just starved for love by people who were supposed to love you. You are wonderful. You deserve joy. And it's going to happen. Bet. All that your heart desires is going to come true.